I'm somebody that knows how to use that big build. I'm talking about the big guard builds then. Six, 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 seven, six, eight. Just like a small guard. L2 canceling all that good stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the best updated SIGs on what I would recommend you use for them to move like a small guard. Yo, Cho, Wagwan, everybody. Yardman Gaming Hero back with a new video. I'm going to be showing you guys the best dribble moves for six foot six builds to six eight builds, all right? It don't have to be point guards because this is a center build that you're going to be seeing dribbling anyways, right? But to be honest, it doesn't matter what position you are because each position you're able to make the build with dribbling. So I'm going to show you guys the updated six, what I would recommend you use if you want to use. Now, it all depends on your dribble style. You're somebody that uses screens on these builds, which I don't think it's best to use screens with this build unless you're the popper. I'm not saying you can't do it. You can do it. But nonetheless, it's all about the style that of how you operate with the rock in your hand. So if you're somebody that, you know, dribbles too much, these six gonna work. If you're somebody that dribbles to get a bucket, these six still gonna work. And if you're somebody that dribbles just to be fancy and you wanna look fancy scoring the bucket, no matter what, kind of like a Yardman Gaming like to do most of the years. But this year I kind of ease off of it too much because I know that the ripping is sensational on this game. It sucks, but it's sensational when it's when you're doing it to somebody else, right? So if they're not gonna fix it, we're cool with that. So I'm gonna show you guys the best thing. Well, anyways, for a long talking, let me show you guys right now. We go in there, I'm 6'7". I haven't released this build yet, but I will release the build soon. I've been using Arike Ogunbowale. All right, I don't know if, but if that's how you pronounce. I've been rocking with this because if you don't know, you get that Kobe Bryant same side boost. Kobe Bryant dribble style, you requires an 88 speed with ball. You can't get that on a 6'7". Can't get that on a 6'6 either. Just like you can't get Michael Jordan with 8 to 9 requirement. Arike gives you that same speed boost that it gives you with Kobe Bryant. Same side speed boost without his boosting. And it also gives you the misdirection, the wide one. I'm talking about diagonal down, the quick glitchy misdirection like a Michael Jordan dribble style. And Michael Jordan dribble style, I do not have it unlocked yet, but I know how it looks, I know how it feels because I've used it in the 2KU. I've been using this. A lot of people like to use Pro, LeBron, or Magic Johnson. And some people even like to use Kevin Durant. I used it for a little bit. Everything you see bought right here, I've used. I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret one. Normal is good for anybody that's 6'9". 6'8", six, 6'9", nine. Six, six, the misdirection on this is the same as Steve Nash, right? And it gives you a speed boost, kind of like Allen Iverson, dribble star, Devin Booker, dribble star, just not as fast, all right? But it's good enough. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using Zach Levine. Size up. I've been using D-Fox the entire time on any big build. I've been using this. I'm not going to lie to you. That D-Wade, shout out to my brother, Ant Zeno. YouTube link in the description. That's my teammate on the tools court. U.S. Air Force active duty currently. You know, Yaman Game is U.S. Air Force veteran, all right? Security forces. D-Wade is our Steve Francis this year. I thought it was D-Fox because I just like how it looks, bro. I like that it gives you a curry slide and all that. And you can double it up with the behind the back. But honestly, the speed of D-Wade is, it's really good. So I'm going to show you guys what you can do with it. You're probably not going to be able to get this on a lot of the builds that you guys made because you probably made it with an 85 ball handling instead of an 86. But in all honesty, that 86 comes in clutch because this is like no other, even without speed booster gold, even with literally, if, if I was to make this build with a low acceleration, which it is very low at this build, trust me, it doesn't mean nothing. Low speed, will, but no, I'm not gonna say my speed will ball low. It's not low, because I need Devin Booker dribble style on this center build when it comes out. And you will see that this is a center build, but it has gold post lock, all that good stuff. Um, gold and movement enforcer, so. So it's a great center build. That's a hybrid center build. But anyways, Kemba Walker escape is what you want to go with when it comes to the escape moves. If you can't get Kemba Walker, we'll put you on real quick. Is that Jimmy Butler? It's really nice. It's kind of like a bootleg. Damian Lillard, I'll show you Damian Lillard. You see that? Damian Lillard again, boom. See that? Now look at Jimmy Butler, boom. Bootleg Damian Lillard and D Fox give you something crazy. Boom, right? Now, another one is Chris Paul is a good one, all right? Really good one. So if you can't get that, those are the options I would use. Or if you're a 6'8 and you want that Kemba, this is gonna be pretty much the closest thing to Kemba you're going to find. And this is what I use on my 6'8 now. Kevin Durant and what I've used over the years. 
It's Kevin Durant, and I'm back to it already. Now, combo moves, these are always the same. I'm not even going to go over these. I don't even really do them. Crossover, John Wall. A lot of people think I'm using D-Fox. I'm not using D-Fox. D-Fox has a little delay to it. Put that John Wall on, bro. It gets you to that rim fast. Behind the back, this is preference. I like using Jamal Murray on my smaller builds because I'm L2 canceling all the time. And I'm about to start using it on this build too. So let me go, get, go ahead and equip it because I'm gonna, be sure, I'm gonna show you guys the type of stuff you can do with these SIGs on this build. Now I wouldn't mess with the spin. Steve Nash, to be, to be honest, is the one. I wish they wouldn't have patched basic one. The fun element to 2K is the best element in 2K. It don't matter if you use Chris Paul though. Just don't use John Wall because the moving hesitation is trash. I would use Pro if you cannot get Chris Paul. Step back, we don't even mess with this. A lot of people like use that Jimmy Butler for the flick down, moving flick down, fast combos. But I am LeBron step back made. All right, that big hop back. If you cut off my rim run on these big builds, it's going to be a wide open three. And I also like the fact that it does get a nice snatch back similar to Steph Curry. So to be honest, and it gets a better hop back than Steph Curry, because what is that? So, so to be honest, on these bigger builds, this is your, your bread and butter right there. Now, I have even done my odd zones on this. That's why I have no lethals. But you see, <laughs> I'm strapping, I'm strapping around with that T Mac, that fake T Mac custom I dropped for y'all. I'm strapping that thing like it's no tomorrow, dog. I'm hitting it from anywhere, right? And can I, like it's a hot zone everywhere. I'm about to get my lethals in the favorite spot that I like to shoot. After I show you guys why you want to use these. All right. Now dribble style. Zach Levine. Oh my gosh. Let me show you some sauce with Zach Levine real quick. This is the, the regular boost. And to be honest, it's one of the best. And you can start doing stuff like that, right? You can keep running and it won't give you no weird angle, right? Say you run off the pullback. You can do that. Now when you start L2 canceling with it. Run again. Watch this. I'm gonna hit um, a move. Boom. You can off that one right here. Boom. That gets, I'm not gonna lie, it usually gets me open every time. And usually if it's not open, so let's see, let me show you something. If I do this and it's, hold on, come in the month. When I do that and it's not there, I can hop back and keep it going, right? Now check this out. This is why you wanna use Zach Levine. Watch this little cheese right I just made up with it, right? <laughs> and you can spam this. Watch this. Look at this. You can spam that, bro. Why is it doing that? Look at this. Mink. Mink. So with the speed glitch, it's actually good. And it actually gets a good misdirection. Not a regular misdirection. Like the, the, um... That's the regular one. I don't like it. Like not the regular one. That's the sped up one. That's supposed to give you like a LeBron style glitchy one. And I don't like that. So you're better off not doing the misdirection unless you go um, kind of like straight up with it. Kind of. Um, nah, that's not even going to work. I don't know how I just got that one. If you want misdirection, just go straight across. <laughs> so you have that. And you can keep running. This is a six, seven bill, by the way. So now you have D Wade size up. D Wade size up registers the fastest for me when I'm dribbling, even faster than D Fox. As you can clearly see on a 6'7, I am moving. And then when you hit the um, Zach Levine with it, check this. Boom. Watch this. That's the Hezzy. That's that Hezzy. We like to do that. Boom. 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 Let's see if you can do it without um you can do it without R2 too. So that's gonna even be smoother. Yeah, that's gonna be smooth. Boom. So check this. D Wade, let me do some moves with it without doing anything. It's just fast. It's like our Steve Francis, bro. Right? It's like our Steve Francis. I don't like the behind the back, but it adds for some nice combos because you can momentum behind the back, tween, into the size up, into the tween into the momentum, into the snatchback, pullback. And then you can, without R2, boost with that Zach Levine. 
uh, and, and preserve some stamina because I'm not even holding R2 right now. When I do that, you just have to get the angles right. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Now, if you hold R2 with it, it's going to look like a little bit faster. So what I'm saying. So you, what you can do is do it without R2 first and then do it with R2 the second time to preserve stamina. Right now, pro with it. So check this out. This is pros combo without doing anything. Right. And he walks by. So if you do a pro and then do a size up, you see how that cancel it into a tween to a pullback crab pro size up snatch back you can do endless combos with that now i shouldn't even have to explain the other ones because kemba is undefeated with the l2 cancels that's why you want to use kemba because it's like the best to l2 cancel with you don't have to really worry about getting too much momentum when you do it it's all about timing so and with kemba say you want to hit a boom right a lot of people do that or boom off that. I promise you, you're going to get open a lot of times. I promise you. So whites are dropping now. Let me find out. So check this. You can do endless stuff with these SIGs right here. And you can really dribble like a small guard for real. So if you want the jump shot, I've already dropped it. So. Big up on the self. Hit that like button. Big up the Lord Mighty. Got some bangers on the way for y'all. Might go to that stage soon. Let me know if y'all want to see that. Big up on the self. I'm going to put these six to use. Now, I showed you guys some the other six in the intro already. I'm just showing you guys the updated ones. Big up on the self. Big up on the Mighty. Can you know, do you want to do nothing already? I'm going to give me a gun.